So what exactly is an application programming interface or API? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you what it is, how to use it. And at the end, I'm going to show you a demo where we will connect to a stock market website. We're going to pick some data, some tickers. We're going to see pricing information, history information. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's get to it. So what exactly is an API? By definition, an application programming interface or API is a way for two or more computer programs to communicate with each other. Da, 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 da. And in some cases, this definition is, is okay. However, sometimes it's a little bit difficult for normal people to understand, like me. So I'm gonna use a different way to explain it. I'm gonna use the analogy of a restaurant. In this case, we have two people sitting at a, at a table and they want to order something. So the first thing that needs to happen is uh, they need to look at the menu. They need to see what's available. In some cases, if it's an Italian restaurant, they can order you know, Italian food. If it's going to be a, a Chinese restaurant, it's going to be Chinese food. So you get the idea. The menu changes for every restaurant. However, they need to look at the menu. Then there is a waiter or a waitress, a server that comes and says, are you ready to order? And the waiter or the waitress picks up the order, writes it down in a piece of paper, and is going to take it back to the kitchen. And in this case, the waiter is acting as we, what we would refer as the API. The API is the, is the interface that the people are using to connect to the kitchen. At the end, they pretty much just want a meal, but the server is there to interact, take the order, take it back to the kitchen. So how that order gets to the kitchen well, different ways. Probably you have seen something like this, where the order goes into a wheel and the kitchen just takes it from the wheel and starts preparing it. In some other cases, it might be a digital system, but the idea is pretty much the same. So what does the kitchen do at that point? The kitchen starts preparing the food and takes care of all the ingredients so the people sitting at the table don't have to worry about how the meal gets prepared. They just wanna wait for their meal. When the meal is ready, then the server goes back and the server takes the food back to the people. Again, the server is acting as the API in that case when the food is ready. Now the question is, are all APIs the same? The answer is yes and no. The process is the same, however the menu changes. The process, however, is the same. Sometimes the server could change. Sometimes you're interacting with a kiosk where in this case, the kiosk is acting as the server. The process, again, you take, you place your order in the kiosk and that order needs to go to the kitchen. The kitchen receives the order, starts preparing the food and the food is sent to the user. Oh, excuse me, to the customer. In this case, that is pretty much all the API is doing. The API is this interface that allows you to communicate in this analogy with the kitchen. The kitchen is preparing things. It has plates available. Somebody needs to take the order. That is the API. Same thing when we talk about an API on a website. A website has an API, which is the interface where people interact with and get information from. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the demo. What we will do is we will go to a website that I used, that I used quite a bit. It's called financialmodelingprep.com. And this just has a lot of stock market information, a lot of the, you know, known tickers like Apple, Meta, Google, Microsoft, Nvidia. You get the idea. All of this information is here. You can see it. You can click on it. If you go to Apple, for example, Apple, it'll give you the price, the current price. It'll give you the beta, the volume average, market cap. I mean, there's a lot of information that you can that you can gather from here. And that's great. But what I would like to do is I would like to have information on multiple tickers, not just one of them. Maybe I would like to have Apple. I would like to have Adobe, you know, a lot of different ones, and I would like to see them in a spreadsheet format. 
So I can, I can ask and see, okay, is there a, an API here? Yes, and I see that there is an API doc. An API doc, like we were saying in the presentation, is the menu. So here it says, well, you need an API key, which is free in this case. An API key, it just tells you um, how you authenticate to that API. Uh, in this case, for example, you can have a list of financial statements. It'll tell you how to do, this is the menu. For example, it says annual income statement. You want the annual income statement uh, for Apple, in this case, A-A-P-L. You can just use this command and you can get that. If you need uh, balance sheet information, if you need cash flow statement information, it, this is the menu that I was talking about. This is what you can get, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. So you, what you do is you take this, um, this command and it tells me, please uh, limit reach, upgrade your plan. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not, it doesn't have an API key here, so it, it doesn't know who's asking for this information. So what we need to do is we need to apply our key. So let me use my key. You can get your key. Like it says here, you can get a, a, a free key. Here, get my free API. And in this case, you can log in, create a new account. And when you create a new account, then you get your own key. I have already created an account, so I'm going to type my key. And I apologize, but I'm going to grade it out so you're not able to see it. And you're not able to use my key, but you can get your own key. When you do this, as you can see, it gives you a lot of information. It gives you the date. September 24, 2022 for symbol Apple. And it gives you all this information here. A lot of information. Now you're saying, okay, this is the cash flow statement reported for Apple. Now if you say, okay, I want to, I just want to get a quote. I want to see how much Apple was today. And you can use the key, again, you can go to the menu. So here, company quote. It says API V3 quote and then the ticker. So we can go back to this website and you get a quote. Again, symbol AAPL, name Apple Inc., the price 148.50. Uh, the percentage they changed from the day before is negative 1.38. Uh, the change is minus two, the day low, the day high, the year high, the year low, market cap. So it gives you a lot of information. Again, this is the API. That, this is the menu. This is what tells you what you can order. You can say, okay, give me a quote on three different ones. We can go back to this and we can try it. And there you go. You get CMCSA, Apple, and Google. So it gives you the three different ones. So there you have it. That's what an API is. An API is an interface that allows you to communicate with a website and get information that that website is able to give you. That is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care.